Kevin Grevy, six foot five, an All-Ohio selection at Hamilton Taft High School after averaging 32 and a half points and 17 rebounds in his senior year. Um, he said uh, earlier that the, the points and the rebounds went hand in hand because uh, he learned uh, at an early age how to follow his shot. So I guess he missed a few there, uh, and that was key to padding his rebounds out. But uh, at the University of Kentucky where he went on, he was a three-time All-Southeastern Conference player, uh, two-time All-American. In 1975, the Wildcats lost to UCLA in the NCAA championship game, but Grevy had 34 points in that game. He's a left-hander, extraordinary jumping ability, uh, which some people don't remember, but a wide assessment of moves around the basket made him the prototypical NBA draft selection, and he was taken by the Washington Bullets with the 18th pick in the first round of the NBA draft, played in the league for 10 years. He broke into the starting lineup during the 1977-78 season, averaged 15 and a half points as the Bullets, who also had Elvin Hayes in the lineup, uh, Wes Unselt was another one on that team, they won the NBA title, he's got a ring from that year. So it is uh, certainly with pure delight uh, that I had a chance to visit with him today and to bring him into the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame. Kevin Grevy. Thank you very much. I know I just got two minutes. First, let me introduce my mother. Mom, stand up. My mother, she uh, raised six kids. Four of us played Division I basketball. Um, myself, Scott, who played at Pitt. You can sit down, Mom, now. You had your moment. We, uh, we, we quickly learned that uh, pass was a four-letter word in our Grevy household, so we didn't do a lot of passing. Uh, I have proof of that. My brother Norm is here. He came to join me. Stand up, Norm. Norm played at the University of Dayton. Um, you know, my family would come watch me play in the Washington Bullets. Norm would come, and uh, I'd introduce him to Wes Unseld, Elvin Hayes, and and uh, Wes said, so uh, Norm, you're nine years old, you play basketball? Yeah, I sure do. He said, well, you score like, like your brother here? He said, yeah, I do. He said, well, what's your average? He said, 32.0909. So for that point on, Norm Grevy became 32.0909. Uh, Phil Griesinger's here. Phil is, a, is like a brother. Thanks, Phil, stand up. Phil, uh, daggone nearly got uh, Daryl Hedrick fired while I was making uh, Records at Kentucky, Phil Griesinger was missing curfews and uh, still uh, one of my best friends. And uh, growing up in Hamilton, Ohio, I had family support, of course. I had great coaching in Marv McCollum, and I had uh, an abundant of schools to root for. My dad, who played at Xavier, would drag mom and I in the car, and we would go to University of Dayton. We'd see Don Donaher's great teams. We would go to Miami of Ohio and Oxford, just up the road, and uh, see Tate's Lock, Daryl Hedrick put on a show, go to the Cincinnati Royals, and we go to Ohio State games. I got John Havlicek's autograph at that Italian restaurant here in Columbus, Siegfried and a whole bunch. I was a fan first, and it was easy in the early 60s to be a fan. Thank you, everybody, for supporting this wonderful event. I'll be back. I'm proud to say I'm an Ohio boy. Yes, I played at Kentucky, but every time I come back home, I feel at home, and it was great to be here.